Hi boys and girls, how are you all doing? Um, I'm missing you lots. Um, but I really hope everybody's getting to enjoy that lovely weather outside. I know Olivia and Marty are having a ball. Um, hope you're enjoying all your walks every day and getting to have lots and lots of outdoor play. Um, today we're going to read a little story and it's all about the good, good father. It's written by Chris Tomlin and Pat Barrett. And this little story is all about a little bear called Tucker and a good, good father, the lion. A colorful kite soared in the sky and then whoosh, it caught on an oak tree branch. Don't worry. I can help, Tucker called, tugging the kite this way and that. Tucker was a little bear. Helping others made him happy and his friends needed lots of help. Some bears were always fighting. I know none of you would be fighting. Some bears were sick. Some bears couldn't read and some bears were very hungry. Some were sad. Tucker didn't know how to help all of his friends. I know, I could ask the king for help, Tucker cried. Maybe, just maybe, if I give him the perfect gift, he will help us. So off Tucker went on a journey to see the good king. He lived in a castle where the door was always open. It wasn't long before a group of big strong raccoons blocked Tucker's path. Stop, one raccoon ordered. What do you want? I want to take the king the perfect gift, but I don't know what to choose, Tucker explained. Hmm, the king is a good warrior, the raccoon said. Why don't you give him a shield? The king will keep you safe, cheered the other raccoons. Down the road, an owl swooped down in front of Tucker. Hoot, hoot, the owl called out. What would you like to learn? I'm trying to figure out the perfect gift to take to the king, Tucker replied. The king teaches from his wise book, the owl told him. I'm certain the king would be pleased if you give him something to read. As Tucker walked away, the owl hooted. Go see the king, he's a good teacher. As he walked, Tucker spotted foxes wearing long white jackets. How are you feeling? asked a concerned fox. Um, I feel fine, but some of the bears in my town are sick, Tucker replied. I'm on my way to see the king and ask for his help. Oh, here, take these bandages as a gift. The fox said, the king is a good doctor. More confused than ever, Tucker sat to rest. Are you here for a snack? A squirrel asked. Actually, I'm trying to find the perfect gift for the king. Tucker explained, looking around. Wow, you have so many yummy looking fruits and vegetables wonder what your favourite fruit and vegetables are. Why don't you take the king these seeds, the squirrel suggested. The king is a good farmer and he will help you grow food. Far away, Tucker heard music and singing and laughter. He followed the sounds until he spotted some happy turtles. Jump on in, now's your chance. This turtle town just loves to dance, a turtle sang. We used to be sad, but now everything is a celebration because of the king. What kind of gift do you think he would like? Tucker asked. Give the king this violin, the turtle said. He's a good musician. The king will bring you joy. All the animals Tucker met had told him different stories about the king. 
on what the perfect gift would be. But Tucker still didn't know what to give him. He looked up to the castle at the top of the tall hill. As it always was, the door was wide open. Tucker tiptoed towards the open door. Tucker! The king ran towards him with a huge smile. I'm so glad you're here. It looks like you need my help. My friends are in trouble and I thought if I brought you the perfect gift, you would help us, Tucker explained shyly. You brought me the perfect gift, the king said with great love. Now let's go help your friends. Tucker wasn't sure which gift was the perfect one. Even so, he hurried off with the king. On their journey back to the little bear's town, Tucker asked the king question after question. Are you a warrior? Yes, the king answered. Are you a teacher? Yes, the king repeated. Are you a doctor? Are you a musician? Are you a farmer? Yes, yes, and yes, the king patiently replied. But how can you be all of these things? The little bear asked. The king smiled. I am all of these things because I am a good father. Tucker didn't understand. Soon, the king and the little bear reached Tucker's town. When the bear saw the king, one by one, they bowed down. The king walked through the town and gave help to everyone who needed it. Most of all, the king, the good father, loved them. Tucker said to the king, Now I see, you are not only a good father, you're a good, good father. A good, good father protects us. A good, good father teaches us. A good, good father makes us well. A good, good father gives us what we need. A good, good father fills life with music and laughter. And most of all, a good, good father loves us. Dear King, I have one more question. Which gift was the perfect gift? Tucker asked. You are the perfect gift, the King told the little bear. You came to me when you needed help. You trusted me, you bring me great joy, and I love you with all of my heart, the same way I love all my children. Tucker, curled up with sleepy eyes and a full heart, whispered, you really are a good, good father. And just like this lion here, can you guess who this lion is? It's like, he's like God or Heavenly Father. And he thinks that you are the perfect gift. It doesn't matter how many bad choices you make. He loves you just the way you are. So I want to remember, or want you to remember, all about this story with the lion. And anytime you're cuddling your little teddy bear, to think about how God loves you just the way you are. Now I have a, a little craft activity I'd like you to do. So if you can see it from there. This is being done with some tissue paper and I wonder if maybe you could try drawing a heart or maybe your mum or your dad or somebody could help you to draw a heart and you could colour in and it says down here, God loves me. And maybe you could put this up in your window so you could, or here's another one and it's just all colored in. But maybe you could come up with some different ideas of ways to do hearts. You could make it a lot more fancy than me. And I would love to see those. So if you make some of these crafts, I would like you to post them, maybe on our Milbert page or to send it through Messenger so the other boys and girls can see it. To finish boys and girls, we're just gonna say a little prayer. And remember that you can pray to God anywhere, any place, about anything. It's just talking to him. 
He wants to know all your problems and all about your day. Dear God, I want to thank you for each and every little boy and girl and their families. I pray that you will protect them and that you will keep them safe. Dear Lord, I want to thank you for all that beautiful weather. And dear Lord, I pray that each and every boy and girl will really know that you love them just the way they are, that they don't have to put on a show or they don't have to be perfect. Nobody's perfect. Dear Lord, just show them that you love them so much. Amen. So boys and girls, that's it from me today. Thank you very much for listening so well and I look forward to seeing some of your crafts. Bye!